So let's talk about the new upcoming Xbox console because I do have a lot to talk about when it, com when it comes to the upcoming Xbox console and in this video actually I'm not going to beat around the bush and talk about how the Xbox One ain't doing so well, how many models they have out, no, 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 no. I'm actually just going to cut to the chase in this video. So let's get right to the main point of this video. Now I did want to talk about Microsoft's upcoming Xbox. If you didn't know, Microsoft is going to be releasing a brand new Xbox coming out in uh, sometime in May of this year, so pretty much next month. Now there is no confirmation from Microsoft officially that this console is coming out but there's so many rumors and so many people talking about this that this is almost a hundred percent going to be true i think microsoft is doing an inside xbox in the next couple of days and we are probably going to hear information about this brand new xbox that's coming out to the market now when i say new xbox it's really not a new generation or anything like that so it's not next gen it's still in the same family of xbox one so it's still going to be an xbox one console it's pretty much another variant of it. You guys know how they have the uh, original Xbox, which I think they already discontinued, the base one, that one that looked like a VCR. And then after that, they pretty much limped it down, and now they have the Xbox One S. And the Xbox One S allows you to uh, stream 4K content, allows you to play uh, 4K Blu-rays, and uh, pretty much uh, does all that jazz. And then, of course, you guys know they have the Xbox One X, which the Xbox One X is the best uh, console they make. In fact, it is the best console on the market when it comes to performance. So if you want the best performing console on the market in terms of graphics and performance, then you go with the Xbox One X. It plays a lot of games at 4K or close to 4K. More games play at better uh, frame rates as well. Overall, that is the best system to get. But Microsoft did, for some reason, decide to release a brand new Xbox. It's going to be the Xbox One, I think, all digital edition. And this Xbox One uh, all digital digital edition is pretty much uh, the same looking version as the Xbox One S. So if you ever seen or used an Xbox One S, then you'll be really familiar with this console. The only difference between this Xbox One S and uh, this Xbox One di all digital console is the fact that they are stripping out the uh, hard drive, they are stripping out the disk drive of this actual console. So keep that in mind when you buy this. I actually think this is the first home console to actually be all digital. So this is going to be the first console ever made to just be strictly digital. So you can't actually buy physical media uh, for this device. I do remember back in the day with the PSP, the PSP was all digital as well when it comes to specifically the PSP Go. Some of you may remember that. I think that one tank dramatically bad for a number of different reasons but yes Sony did do that but that was more of a handheld not really a uh a home console, but if you're talking, this would be the second uh, home or portable console of all time to be all digital. And I actually wanted to talk about some more leaks that are recently coming out about this system because apparently we kind of have what's going to be bundled with the system, what the system is going to be be looking like, and on top of that, we also are going to have uh, the price of this system and uh, what type of hard drive we're going to be having with this because. T taking consideration again the hard drive is going to be very important with this system since pretty much all you're going to be doing with this is downloading games from the internet or playing xbox games pass you're not going to have any uh physical media so let's start off with the, the design of this system now the design of this system is kind of a uh, the same as the xbox one s it's pretty much what we expected we've seen these uh leaks in uh pictures before is this going to be the final design of this system from what i'm seeing yes and it looks like most likely it's going to be the same design as the xbox uh one s but i have some questions about this why does this system look exactly the same as the uh, xbox one s you have to take in consideration this doesn't have a uh disk drive anymore so you would think they would be able to make this system a little bit more smaller and more compact by removing the disk drive which does take a lot of space in the casing but who knows i'm not an engineer and i don't know how much space you really need for all the components that would go into the uh, xbox one s uh, chassis and all that jazz maybe by removing the uh uh, dis the disk drive of the uh, xbox one s maybe they still needed to make the chassis that big but but if you think about it, you would think that they would make it smaller, but no, indeed, this thing is not a smaller system. It's actually still the same size as the original Xbox One S, just something kind of weird I find about it. Actually, for a lot of consumers, this could get kind of confusing when you think about it, because if both systems look exactly the same, it's going to be hard to distinguish the difference. One's an all-digital system and one's a uh, 
physical and digital machine, so you have to keep that in mind as well. I guess you're going to have to put big print on the box if it is the same design as the uh, original Xbox One S, but uh, warning, this is an all-digital system only. You can only play games from the internet or with Xbox Games Pass, so that's something to take uh, in consideration. Now let's talk about the actual uh, hard drive space on this because, of course, if you're using something without a disk drive, without physical media, you're going to have to download all your games and you're going to need a hard drive. Apparently, from all these uh, leaks and all these rumors about the upcoming Xbox uh, all digital version is the fact that this thing is only going to have a whopping one terabyte. That's not too bad. I know a lot of people are complaining about how this system has a one terabyte and why did they not go with two terabyte. I guess I'm okay with one terabyte. Would I like two terabyte? Of course, the more storage the better, but then you also take in consideration it chops down the price of this thing so it wouldn't be as expensive if they went with one terabyte versus two, but I'm assuming nowadays, specifically with hard drives and not SSDs, hard drives are pretty dirt cheap, so if you went with something like a two terabyte over a one terabyte. I'm assuming it wouldn't cost too much for Microsoft to put two instead of one terabyte, but I guess they're trying to cut corners as much as possible and to really cut down as much as possible. The best thing to do, of course, is gonna be using the same chassis as the uh, Xbox uh, One S, and then also on top of that, putting a one terabyte uh, hard drive instead of a, a two terabyte, but if they're really trying to save money, why would they go with a uh, one terabyte over a uh, 500? They'd be better off. They're really trying to save as much money as possible since they are mass producing these things. Keep in mind, a 500 terabyte hard drive would have been the way to go, at least on their side if you think about it, but I'm assuming they're so dirt cheap they can probably get away with one terabyte. It does kind of wonder why they didn't just go uh, with two terabyte, but overall, I am happy they did go in the middle of the road here. They didn't go with 500, which definitely 500 is an absolute slap in the face in this uh, generation because games are so big. They're 60, 70, 80 gig, and a lot of gigs, even if you're not playing the 4K variant, if you, if you don't have an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro that uses those 4K textures and those 4K uh, files to download the games, even games that are 1080p across the board can still get very big. I know games like some of the Call of Duties can easily get over 100 uh, gig in file size when you're talking about digital, so to have that one terabyte is still good. I know you can still buy hard drives later on in the near future, so overall, I guess I'm not too mad about this. You put the one terabyte in there, and then you give people options to upgrade their hard drive in the near future by uh, adding more storage, by like buying an uh, external uh, hard drive you can plug in uh, to the system. So overall, I guess I'm okay with the one terabyte. Now let's actually talk about the actual games that are going to be included in these in this bundle. Keep in mind that these are only rumors and only leaks, so everything I'm talking about right now could indeed be fake, but I don't see why any of this uh, could be fake. It looks like from everything we're seeing, this looks like this is going to be true, and most likely in the next couple of days when uh, uh, Microsoft does their inside Xbox panel, kind of like uh, kind of like the Nintendo Direct, most likely a lot of this is most likely going to be true. I don't see why this uh, wouldn't be true. So most of this is probably going to be relevant. I don't know if everything in this video is going to be relevant, but a lot of this is going to be relevant, and it's gonna, probably going to be true when they actually talk about this and when. Uh, when uh, Major Nelson, I think his name is, talks about all this stuff in the upcoming X, uh, Inside uh, Xbox. But let's actually, I think, yeah, talk about the included games in this whole bundle. Now, the included games that they're going to be giving you, uh, funny enough, is you're actually going to be getting three pre-installed games. That might seem like a lot, but the games that they're giving you in this bundle are hit or miss. I guess you really can't complain at all about this because you take in consideration they are going to be free when you buy the system. So disregard everything. You can't complain. Free is always good free, 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 so keep that in mind, but we can still talk about the selection they should have, they, they, they actually made for this system. Now, the first game we have up here is pretty much a no-brainer, Minecraft. Who doesn't love Minecraft? I know Minecraft's not for everybody, but in general, a lot of people like Minecraft, especially kids. I know the hype train for Minecraft has pretty much died down. It's not the same as it is. You guys know the uh, Battle Royale uh, hype train is here now with things like, uh, the Call of Duty one with uh, Fortnite, with Apex Legends, you know, that's the main thing in the gaming industry as of right now. But to have Minecraft on there and Minecraft being a staple and so many people knowing what Minecraft is, I think that's a good idea for Microsoft. And Microsoft owns Minecraft. And you guys know they really have a partnership with Nintendo where they're trying to make a lot of cross-play moves with Minecraft. So it would make sense from a business standpoint since they have Minecraft there. They have Minecraft on PlayStation. They have Minecraft pretty much everywhere. It is a cross-platform game. Overall, it just makes sense 
finance as a, for a business standpoint. And on top of this, they're trying to sell these. And if they're trying to sell this, what do you want to do? You want to make something that's enticing to pretty much everyone. Minecraft is it. So yes, I understand why they're putting Minecraft on this uh, version of the uh, Xbox One all digital version. And then the next game they're going to have on here is a much more newer game. The newer game on here, which is going to be Sea of Thieves. I know Sea of Thieves got a lot of hate in the gaming industry. It was kind of like a mixed bag because when that game came out, it was supposed to be one of their best uh, exclusive games for the Xbox brand back in uh, early 2018. But when it came out, it was missing a lot of content. It was pretty much the No Man's Sky for the Xbox One. It was that dry in content. I know a year later, I think they just recently released another update for that game. So they've been updating that game frequently and they understand that game was a mistake when it first came out. And so many people gave them flack for that game being so repetitive and being so dry in content. At least now they fixed it. Is it the best game to put on the Xbox uh, One all digital version? No, in my opinion, definitely not because even with all the updates and things, it's probably still not the best game, but I guess it's still better than some other games they could have picked for this system. So it is what it is when it comes to Sea of Thieves being on this Xbox, apparently when it comes to the bundle. And then the other one that's apparently going to be on this is Forza Horizon 3. A lot of people are talking about why didn't they just do Forza Horizon 4 for this bundle since this is the newest game out there. It probably wouldn't cost them all that much and they probably wouldn't be losing too much money if they put uh, Forza Horizon 4 over something like Forza Horizon 3. It's kind of a weird choice. At least they didn't go with Forza Horizon 2 or Forza Horizon 1. I think those games though are Xbox 360 games and they're not really a Xbox One games and Forza Horizon 3 is an Xbox One game so I guess they can put it on there. So overall the lineup for the free games that you're going to be getting on this console are kind of a hit and miss. Minecraft is a good game. Uh, sea of Thieves is kind of questionable and then of course Forza Horizon 3 is a good game but why not go 4 over 3 just a weird, you know, a weird thing. In my opinion I think the one thing that would actually sell this and would make sense for this console and you guys know they did update this game last year back in the summertime. I think one of the obvious ones and one of the ones that would actually make sense for this system would be the uh, Master Chief Collection. Why not just put something like Halo 5 or the Master Chief Collection on here? I think they have a Gears of War Collection. I could be wrong about that and disregard me if that was last gen or this gen. I can't remember about that but put one of those uh, better first party staples on there rather than Sea of Thieves and rather than uh, Forza Horizon series. Put something like that on there. I think it would make sense because every Everybody associates Microsoft, but especially with uh, Halo and especially with Gears of War, more so Halo than Gears of War. But if you put one of those franchises on it, I think it would have been a better sell overall. But hey, like I said again, you really can't complain about the free games on it because free is free. So what can you expect? They could have put nothing in the box that they wanted to. So by enticing people to buy this and getting a couple free games is better than nothing. So congrats to uh, Microsoft, I guess, for allowing you to get some free games in the box. Now let's move on to the price tag of this because apparently the price tag of this has leaked again keep in mind i have to say this many times there are only leaks and only rumors so this could all be false but most likely a lot of this like i said is going to be real and i don't see why this would be a fake uh a fake rumors and things like that now apparently the price of this system is translated it's in another uh it's in another country's currency i can't remember what country's currency it was but Everyone translated it, and apparently what it's going to be in uh, North America with the U.S. dollars, at least when it comes to America, it's going to be 250 to $260 when it comes out on the market. And let's pray to God that's actually not the price of this system because everyone agrees out there that this is just not a good uh, price for this uh, system. And I'm going to explain why this is not a good price uh, for this system. The main reason this is not a good price for this system, first of all, it means that a lot of people aren't going to be enticed to buy this. Why would you buy this system at? 250 to 260 dollars when it has no uh, disk drive and on top of that you do have to realize the uh, Xbox One S right now you can find almost everywhere on the internet I mean if you look hard enough you can definitely find the original Xbox One S not the original Xbox One but the Xbox One S the remade one with a uh, 4k streaming HDR 4k blu-ray player a disk drive yada 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 you can find that anywhere from like 220 to like 240 so putting this at 250 to 260 just does not make sense for, from from Microsoft and if you're trying to buy an Xbox why would you even buy that in the first place you're better off buying an Xbox One S even though they go for 299 like I said right now if you look on Amazon and look on different websites you can find them for like 230 240 250 it's pretty much the same price as the uh, Xbox One 
all digital co uh, console if this price is going to be real could this be cheaper in the near future or could this come out and on when Microsoft announces this in a couple days and says guess what this system is not 250 260 in America this is actually only going to be 199 I think if this was actually priced at 199 I think this would be a very good sweet spot for this console and I think more people would be enticed to buy this even so at 299 at 200 dollars in my opinion if they do come out and say this is 200 dollars I just don't see this as being a very great value for your money because like I said before you you only have to spend 30 or 40 more dollars for the Xbox One S with the disk drive and I'm gonna explain why the disk drive version of the uh, Xbox would be better than a diskless version of an Xbox so the main reason this would be uh, worse than a disk than a disk version of the Xbox that plays physical media first of all you'll have phys physical media to actually use on your Xbox and you'll have digital stores so anytime Microsoft does sales on any other digital content you'll be able to buy them from the store but on top of that you may have a friend that has a lot of digital me has a lot of excuse me physical media for their Xbox and then you can probably swap games with them or borrow their games but on top of that a lot of retailers do a lot of different sales on physical games for their system and some games are so dirt cheap when you go places like pawn shops, thrift stores, and things like that, you can find literally games lying around that are so dirt cheap that a lot of the times, too, if you go to the Microsoft store, some of those same games would not be on sale. So basically what I'm saying is you'd be paying Microsoft prices on the store for some games that you could normally find cheaper just because, well, you don't have a disk drive and you're pretty much forced to buy everything from Microsoft and they get to choose the prices and you can't really borrow games from people, rent games as well. Also, overall, it just doesn't make sense considering that an Xbox One S is two, uh, 230 240 250 A lot of times when you look around different retailers, you can find it so cheap. Why not would you want it over that? Because you have the benefit of having physical media, which a lot of times will just save you money and you have more options, basically, is what I'm saying. And then on top of this, you do have to realize in a lot of different markets and a lot of different people having a 4K Blu-ray player because, yes, the, the Xbox One S will play 4K Blu-ray players. That's one of the beautiful things about that system, and that's actually what gives it, it value. It's kind of like, like they're ripping out one of the best aspects of the Xbox One S by removing the 4K Blu-ray player. By removing that, you're not getting 4K Blu-ray support, and 4K Blu-ray support is pretty good. And then you also take in consideration nowadays trying to buy a standalone 4K Blu-ray player is still quite expensive. I know DVD players have gone down in prices. Blu-ray players aren't, aren't too expensive, but the 4K Blu-ray players are still quite some money. So if you have a system that plays games and on top of that streams internet content like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and on top of that, it does play 4K Blu-ray Blu discs. That's talking about a lot of content for your money for $230 and $240. Would you even want to buy the Xbox One digital, all digital uh, console for $199 and then uh, get that and be missing one of the big features which in my opinion th I think makes it a very good value to spend that extra 230 240 250 and a lot of times too you take in consideration with those uh, those consoles that are uh, the Xbox one s variant with the disk drive uh, on it which are 230 240 250 depending on where you look on the internet a lot of those a lot of times those are actually bundled with very good games I've seen ones bundled with for instance I think uh, Battlefield 5. I know Battlefield 5 got some really weird reception and some people just flat out do not like Battlefield 5, but in my opinion, I think Battlefield 5 is an okay game. It's got to be better than some of the games that are bundled on the this console if all these rumors are real like Forza Horizon 3, Battlefield 5 is a pretty good game. They also have NBA 2K19 which you guys know the NBA series is flat out amazing. Then they have one with Horizon, not Horizon, they have one with Anthem and I know Anthem is a very questionable game and that a lot of that game is uh, very disappointing. It's not good but you can see you're getting some pretty good value when you take in consideration you buy one of those buy an original uh, Xbox One S console, you get uh, a free game and you also get that uh, disc disk drive with it which really does give it a lot of value like I said you get the choice of physical media you also get the choice of playing 4k blu-ray stuff you get HDR overall it just seems like a better better thing so what I'm basically saying is I think in my personal opinion Microsoft making this console is definitely a mistake I just don't know why they're releasing it and I don't know why they're releasing it this late in the day I know the reasoning probably why they're releasing it the main reason Microsoft is probably releasing this console is the fact that they're really testing the waters for next generation and seeing how many people are actually going to go all digital I will have to give uh, credit where credit is due when it comes to Microsoft the nice thing about Microsoft with Sony never did the nice thing about this console when it comes to digital distribution is if you have an Xbox One S 
console or any Xbox basically and you're trying to go to the uh, Xbox uh, all digital version the nice thing about this is the fact that you can actually trade in all your games to a Microsoft certified store and by having them trading into a certified Microsoft store you can pretty much take all your physical games and turn them into digital codes and then those digital codes can actually be put on this box if you wanted to like I guess technically downgrade because technically what you're doing is when going from an Xbox One S or even the original console it would pretty much be like a downgrade and honestly in my opinion I don't think anyone's going to want to do that it just would not make sense to go from the Xbox One S all down to the uh, Xbox All Digital even from the original uh, uh, fat chunky Xbox down to the uh, Xbox uh one all digital console so I honestly don't understand why Microsoft is even doing that still props to Microsoft for even allowing something like that but honestly I don't know why anybody in their sane mind would even want to do something like that take a console that has a disk drive and then turn it into something like that I know also the reason probably why they put a small hard drive on this in the first place going back to the hard drive really quickly I think the main reason they put a small hard drive in one terabyte is not too small it's still better than 500 gig but I think one of the main reasons they went with the uh, five 500 gig uh, hard drive, uh, excuse me, the one terabyte hard drive over the 500 gig uh, hard drive might be due to the fact that they're banking on a lot of people trying to get Xbox Games Pass, and you guys know Xbox Game Pass is actually a brilliant idea, and I guess they're also banking the fact that they're hoping that a lot of people won't care about buying games cheap with physical media as well by not buying games on their store and paying close to full retail price for a lot of games usually that happens on these stores a lot of these full retail games just do not go on sale and are usually forced to pay close to sixty dollars or full price for these games I guess they're really banking on Xbox Games Pass you pay that ten dollars a month and you get pretty much unlimited games I do know right now for a factor they are doing a sale on Xbox Games Pass Xbox Games Pass right now is a dollar for your first three months if you're a new subscriber if you're a new subscriber of Xbox Games Pass you never tried it you can try it for a dollar and I do know there's a lot of games coming to that service almost every month, and some of these games are top quality games, so I guess that's really what Microsoft is banking on. But overall, in my wholehearted opinion, I just really don't understand why Microsoft is making this uh, console. It just doesn't seem... Uh, to, uh, doesn't seem practical. The pricing seems too high. If it is 250, 260, even at 199, like I said, it just doesn't make sense for Microsoft to be making this. They're stripping off the best part of the Xbox One S by removing the disk drive of it or the 4K Blu-ray player, where you can actually play 4K Blu-ray players. You can play your games as well. Stuff overall, this system just does not make sense. But I guess we'll see what happens when Microsoft finally releases this uh, console sometime in May. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from MyTech News signing out.